Filters are really common thing both in photography and videography and we have a variety of different filters like ND filters, polarizing filters, UV filters and so on and so forth. But on today's menu we have Glow Mist filter from Freewell. I have two of them, one fourth and one eighth and uh, I will talk about them in a moment. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another Tuesday Tech episode. These filters from Freewell are not the type of filters that you will use every single day in every single occasion. These are more meant for adding some creativity to your photos or videos. So particularly to add a glow mist type effect to your photos or videos. What that means? It means that by screwing, by attaching these filters to your lens, you will get more glow effect around the light source and also your footage, photo or video will have less contrast. So it will have that cinematic filmish type of look like old films or something like that. So this is really cool and this can make uh, your footage really really special. You will see in some examples. And also what is really special with those filters, these are magnetic filters. So that means that you don't need to screw them all the time on the lens and unscrew them when you want to put something else instead of the filters or you don't want to use the filter anymore. You just need to snap it on the lens and just take it off. It's really simple and easy. So. Now I will show you what's in the box. We, I have two of them, one eight and one fourth. Uh, so this is a little bit uh, less, of, this will give you a little bit less effect. This will give you a little bit more pronounced effect. You will see that later too. So inside the box, we have another box. And inside this one, let me see, we have a few things. We have some cards for the website, etc. We have a filter guide, pretty cool. And also we have a cleaning cloth, which is a really nice addition for cleaning the either the camera lens or these filters. So let's leave this aside. And inside this box we have the main thing. We have the filters itself, actually one filter and another additional ring. And we have the lens cap. It's metallic and it's magnetic, so you will see that in a moment. The filter itself is really cool. This is 82 millimeters. Uh, diameter so this is the biggest one that I order for myself and uh, is actually uh, contain two parts here so let me see if I can detach this because these are ma these magnets are pretty strong so I don't want to break something see like this this is the ring that you need to put on the lens and then we have the filter itself and instead of always screwing on and off the filter you just need to snap it like this and that's it so this is the filter and this is the lens cap, the lens cap that's still magnetic and it's really easy to cover your lens using this lens cap instead of your uh, normal lens cap that comes uh, with the lens. So let's mount this on the camera, let me show you how it works. Okay, let's move this aside and for this example I will use my Fuji X-T4 camera and uh, 16 to 55 2.8 lens. So this is basically 24 to 17 full frame uh, version. So this lens has, as you can see right here, 77 diameter of um, this lens and we have 82. Uh, the filter is 82. So for that we need to use a step up ring and it will go from 77 to 82 and just screw it on and now we are ready for a bigger filter like this. Okay, but also what we need to screw on the lens is Freewell's adapter. This and you just do it one time. This is it. And now you're ready for the filter. So in order to use this filter, you just need to snap it on and it's ready to use. It will not fall off. It's pretty strong magnets there. And if you don't want to use it anymore, just take it off and it's easy like that. Also, you can use the lens cap instead of your original lens cap. You can use this metallic one. Metal, it's a metal one and uh, it's really, really cool too. So take it off, put it on really easy and simple and also the filters put it on and also you can do like this you can use the lens cap on the filter okay now let me show you how actually these filters works
Okay, now that you know what these filters are for and how they will change your photos and videos, it's up to you to decide if you want to use them or not. I personally really like them. They are not for every single occasion, everyday usage, but they're really cool from time to time to use them to change the look of your uh, video or photo, depends what are you doing, are you a photographer, videographer, and to get that low contrast footage with a really cool glow effect, especially in the low light conditions, night scenes, they're really, really cool. Also on daylight uh, scenes, they're pretty useful too. I really love the magnetic functions, so you can really easily detach them, put it in a bag, or when you need it, just attach it, and that's it. Also, another cool thing is that you can stack few filters at the top of each other and use like that. So for example, if you're, you're having ND filters from Freewell, you can put ND filter when you need to shoot something to make some videos outside on a bright sunny day. And at the top of ND filter, you can just snap your magnetic uh, glow mist filter and use the combo of that. So it's really cool. Also, you can put two of uh, these glow uh, mist filters together and get even uh, emphasized effect. There is just one negative thing that I need to say about this system. Everything works perfectly. There are no vignetting around the corners. Everything is really cool. But what I didn't like, it's small thing, but I just want to mention that, is when you use the lens cap, if you just take off the filter, use the lens cap, everything is perfect. The lens cap will stay there. Amazing, no problem at all. But if you put a filter on and now you want to put the lens cap on, just to cover the filter if you are not using the camera at this moment. When you take the lens cap off, you're taking the filter too, because the lens cap has a little bit stronger magnet, I think, and you cannot just detach the, the lens cap. That's an issue. And then you need to go like this and to make sure that you don't break something, okay? And then put the filter back. That's the only issue I have with this. Otherwise than that, they're really, really cool. The prices for one of the filters is 99, 99 US dollars, so 100 US dollars. If you want to purchase them to get them, you have the links down there in the description. Right, guys, let me know down there in the comments what do you think about these filters? Do you use from time to time glow mist filters and which uh, filters actually are you using? Have an experiment and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.